Welcome to LA Learning Atmosphere.com powered by Omicro World. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about in the previous video we talked about uh, these are these the the, the the login we created by ourselves. This is the default login by Microsoft. Now we want to work with what login and register and change password. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio. Now these are Visual Studio working station. Now you can see in the login in the login um, extension file we have uh, change password, create user wizard, login, um, login name, login status, login view, and password recover. Now this is what we are talking about. We want to really what um, really talk about really talk about more about this login session. And by default, by Microsoft, we have login, register, change password. Now we want to work with all this. Now um, let's go to our. Let's come here. Let's click our solution explorer. Now this is it. If you want to talk about uh, solution explorer, go to view. Look for look for um, solution explorer. Let's, okay, this is it. Go to solution explorer. It will not be out. If you want to come to properties, you click on properties. Now, if you want to go to solutions pro, click on solutions pro. Now, I want to create a folder. The folder name is what? Account. Now, account. Now, inside the folder, I want to create. Want to create. Want to create. Add new items. Now, I want to create a, a form. This is how to create a form. I want to talk about form. Now. This form now. Okay, you want to create form? Let's call it login. Login. Now this login form. These are the creative form. Web form. We are talking about web form. Now these are the creative form. Now when you create a form, it is purely what empty. Let's load this. Let's load this now. Is empty. Let's call it login title. Let's title it login login now this login now if we run it and see let's run it and see now this login page yeah it is empty in the next video we're gonna what input we're gonna what input a wizard of login by Microsoft already already what already um, arranged and already designed we're gonna make use of it which is what login we wanna create what the proper login register and uh, um, change password in a good dynamic way. Thank you for understanding how to create what a web form folder and a web form. See you in the next video.